Good morning. I'm going to have this light therapy for 20 minutes. Actually, I've had this for a couple of years and I think in that couple of years I have used it about four times. I'll try to make it a regular habit and see how it goes. Hi. Sorry about this. I am bleaching my moustache and facial hair. I have done this um, from my early teens. I didn't do the face, but I used to do the moustache because I've got dark hair. It, it is quite visible. I've never waxed. I have never threaded my face. It's always been this. But as I've got older, it's become less and less. And especially in the last, I would say, three, four years, I have... Uh, not being as attentive towards my face i try but i think maybe it's with all the things that's going on in my life you know i just uh, i have walked around the i've gone out with you know hairy legs and hairy face and i didn't care anyway since now i'm, I'm doing youtube i want to look after myself a little bit more so that i can inspire you guys and i can push myself this is where i'm making my diary this is what i'm doing my videos are probably is going to appeal to a lot of women who have gone through what I'm going through, who is going through what I'm going through. And to say, you know, let's not, because ideally I would like to go in a corner, hide and be in a dark hole and not come out. This, that's how I feel. And for me to do anything, just getting up and walking, it takes so much motivation to do. Um, and I think my motivation comes to having my children. I don't have family. I don't have many friends. So I wake up every day because of my children, especially the 14-year-old, because I am responsible for him, you know. Today I'm going to be doing, um, again, makeover on a beautiful girl. One of the girls that I have shown before in my last video. She's going to come. She's uh, She's very young. I'm going to do her makeover and then videotape it, take some pictures to promote my work. I have been a hair and makeup artist for, whoa, 20, 22 years. I have worked in fashion magazines. I have worked in commercial um, sector, like I've done TV commercials, I've assisted. I've done fashion shows. I've done music videos. I have private clients. So. I am available to be booked for anything really. I, my favorite, I do like very um, glamorous makeup. I, I like that, that comes naturally. Um, that's what I love doing. I love doing also hair, um, more updos, more creative kind of hair. I love doing, I'm also training myself uh, to be a barber. Um, just adding more and more to to my resume, you know, for uh, being creative. I don't want to do more than hair and makeup, but within that field, you know, sort of doing Afro hair or braiding, um, stuff like that, you know, also grooming, which is barbering and beard trimming and stuff like that. Enough about my work. Uh, I will record as much as I can um, through the day and the week coming ahead guys i'm trying to see my face in different light this looks like i have got super golden tan my skin actually doesn't look anything like this it's just how i change the light makes such difference but um i quite like the way this is looking under this light um and my contact lenses i love 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 these contact lenses i think they're um uh, brown brownness I, I did make a video about the contact lenses from tdi i love these lenses they look so natural on me and as for the hollywood hollywood flawless filter i like it but i think it's too too greasy looking on my face i love the face and body um mac face and body which i always wear uh because it's water based i don't feel it's sticky or greasy or anything like that whereas this um charlotte tilbury's hollywood flawless filter feels a little 
sticky on my face and I did put a bit of powder on my face and it's still looking this way um, for me I'm not sure I have to wear it an entire day few times because the last time I wore it with foundation on top and it was just half a day so I am not sure I mean it looks amazing but my skin does not like anything that feels sticky. I will probably get a spot or two. I have a feeling, maybe not. I'm going to wear this and see how it goes. So this is from the other ang angle, from against the light. I like it like this. See, it doesn't look so shiny. I mean, I do have a bit of highlight here, the NARS highlight, but see, against the light is quite nice. What do you think? Can you see anything? Oh, look, it's changing again. See how things change. You can think it's like totally different um, video, but it's not. It's just me moving around. Yeah, I've just purchased these eyelashes. I don't know how much were they. Um, 11, all these, which is great, isn't it? It's at TK Maxx. I always come here, TK Maxx. Um, oh my god, look at this dress, it's cute, right? It's really good to come around this time because it's quiet. Look at this dress. I mean, it does look like a, a nighty, but isn't it? gorgeous look at this and even better the price i really like this stunning yeah that's very good so my god you're looking amazing now just keep the chin always this way looking into the camera and then moving moving around yeah looking into the camera and that's it that's lovely so nice hey it's friday evening i went to work came back currently it's about 10 30 i think we had late dinner harry is on that so harris where do you find these videos do you look for them you said mm, today i'm going to see someone you know a man cutting meat with his long tail. <laughs> listen i'm in touch with my sister <laughs> Are you are you putting moving that plate with your foot? No. Are you enjoying that game? Hello, today's Saturday. I did say I was going to record all day. I didn't. I did gardening. Um uh, my son helped me. Um and then I had my you know my knee was really hurting me. I'm feeling really down. I'm forcing myself as usual, I always do force myself to go, but I'm feeling very fat and really old looking and my clothes, th this top, I bought this top, uh, I, I'm just trying to think whether it was 1998, I bought this top and I, it, it has memories, the thing is I went to Corfu with this top with my ex. Um, and it makes it's not making me feel very nice uh it's just back bringing back memory this is a skirt um i showed you guys that i bought from zara i don't think it it goes i think i should wear something white with this um and i'm thinking of handbags i'm thinking of shoes i'm just so lost i'm going to tone my hair uh a little bit from here because Actually, I didn't wash my hair today. It's from before. It was day before yesterday I washed my hair. And 
I don't know what to wear, what should I do? Maybe I should try a white skirt and show you guys how I look or maybe trousers or something. I thought I'm going to show you guys from here how it looks. Um, this is how I look. I'm, the way I'm holding this, you would not believe how I'm holding this. I've not put on my lenses, which I will do in a bit, just before I go. I want to show you guys how my whole outfit looks like. So let me show you if I can. I'm trying to show you how this outfit looks. If you can see from a distance, I'm not sure. Just thinking what I can wear with this top. Okay, I have decided to wear this dress finally, um, after trying everything, I'm just wearing this dress because nothing fits me. I have gone really, really fat. Everything is like, I think everything about me has changed because I'm a lot older, I suppose. I don't know what it is, but I'm so unhappy. Just look at the mess I have made. This is just, oh, excuse me, <laughs> you're probably looking at my bras and stuff like that but um yeah now i'm thinking how am i going to change this there is my darling looking gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> My friend just went up um, to speak to her uh, friend, no, to her husband, sorry. Um, I had a... Uh went to Park Chino's and then went to Isabel. It was good. Um, I'd like to go out, I don't know, maybe somewhere where I can dance. I, I didn't get to go downstairs at Isabel, but maybe next time, because today, I was feeling quite down. I'm okay now. Um, it was lovely night. And time to go home now.